But here's a prediction I'm going to make. Since we know that BCL6 and GLMP1 are opposite, starting out with GLMP1, GLMP1 is an advanced regulator of development to secretory state. That's how it developed knockout and those secretory B cells. So that was that final stage of the entire germinal center development. But BCL6 is and GLMP1 are counter, in, counter interactive. So then it came that GLMP1 is, enables the later stage. BCL6 enabled the earlier stage. But my prediction is over here is we have just got through making a discovery that the earliest, that germinal center B cell development can be divided into two stages. The, f the first stage is this confusing MZP, but you know, that, that's just because there's, there's CD23 positive and they're in the light zone. So CD23 positive B cells in the light zone before they express AID, before they proliferate. Uh, they're, they're CD23 positive. So, they, I be, and then they go from there, after they undergo, I guess, interaction with the antigen, they come to the dark zone, and then they downregulate CD23, and we're not sure what it is, but there is a factor for that, you know, there is a factor that somebody found for that. And then they upregulate AID, and that might be something like um, PEX5 or ID2, you know, E2A, there's certain genes that upregulate AID, and these become even higher BCL6 positive. And they start to cycle, too. And we know TIP1, or is it TIP27? P27, TIP1. Yeah. TIP1 is actually down-regulated? Down-regulated. Yeah. So there's a lot of, the thing I'm trying to get to is there's a switch factor from mm. here to here. Mm. The pre-BLIMP1 switch factor. And well, that's what actually... That just reminded me, yeah, a lot of the cell cycle genes are upregulated in the MZP compared to... I just... <laughs> well, we even published that. Yeah, but that's what I was asking. I forgot which one, actually. No. Mm, but <laughs> the not. guy, but look at P77, get one. Mm. But, I, but I think there's a, there, just like, this is even more important in the generation going to a secretory cell. It's what is it that has decided that it's interacting with its antigen in the light zone enough to then go to the dark zone and start proliferating. That switch factor, the property that's already known, but, you know, so that's the equivalent of the blimp one. It shows there's three switch factors. I mean, I would predict there must, it might be BCL6, you know, but, you know, we'd have to show that. Like IL-17, maybe down regulation BCL6, so absence of BCL6 and blimp one. I don't like the absence part, but you know, some, there's, some of these factors we've been looking at, we've tried to, you know, PAX5, ID2, E28, IRF4, you know, we're trying to put them under certain, you know, tr major transcription factors, but actually some may be um, the ones that are pre or no, I should say light zone, dark zone, and then late are um, secretory B cell. We need to find that that switch factor. And by the way, in, in uh, BXD2 mice, I think that this, this stage here is, this switch factor is going to be high here because we've got to, you've got to make light zone B cells before you go to here. And the CD23 positive is a prominent factor. So whatever it is that causes the CD23 to be, and the, where is it, where is it over here? The CD23 MZPs, whatever causes those to form, that's the key. Mm. Okay, need that switch factor. Mm.